Hello everyone, and welcome. Today we're diving into a groundbreaking and highly strategic development that could reshape global security dynamics. U.S. President Donald Trump recently announced a new missile defense initiative called the Golden Dome. This isn't just a domestic defense upgrade, it's a signal that the battlefield is expanding beyond Earth's atmosphere into outer space. In his address from the White House, Trump described the Golden Dome as the shield of our homeland, underlining the project's bold scope. Unlike traditional systems, this one is designed to counter not just terrestrial threats like ballistic or cruise missiles, but also potential attacks from space. In other words, the front lines of defense are no longer bound to Earth. They're extending into orbit. The core idea behind the Golden Dome is to create an advanced space-based missile detection and interception system. Hundreds of satellites will be deployed into orbit, forming a constant surveillance network capable of identifying, tracking, and neutralizing threats before they even reach the atmosphere. This marks a new era in defense tech. Technologically, the system will integrate artificial intelligence, high-speed data processing, and next-gen radar systems. Satellites will be placed in low Earth orbit, LEO, to ensure real-time data transmission and 24-7 monitoring over U.S. airspace. The goal is clear, neutralize potential threats while they're still in flight. This is particularly critical when it comes to hypersonic missiles, which are too fast for traditional radar systems. AI-powered tracking and multi-satellite communication are essential here. The project will be led by General Michael Gwetlane, commander of the U.S. Space Force. Major tech companies are also playing a pivotal role. SpaceX, Palantir, and Anduril have joined forces to develop the system's technological infrastructure. SpaceX's involvement, given Elon Musk's private ownership of the company, has sparked some political controversy, especially among Democrats. Critics argue that such a high-stakes national security initiative shouldn't rely heavily on private contractors. But in today's world, innovation often emerges from public-private collaboration, and defense is no exception. Now, let's talk numbers. The Trump administration has allocated $25 billion for the initial phase. However, full deployment could cost up to $175 billion. And according to the U.S. Congressional Budget Office, the 20-year cost might balloon to $831 billion. That's a massive portion of the U.S. defense budget. It has raised eyebrows in Congress and among taxpayers alike. But according to many strategists, space-based threats are no longer hypothetical. They're real, and they're advancing rapidly. The Golden Dome is largely inspired by Israel's Iron Dome but the U.S. system aims for a much broader scope, extending into space. Naturally, global reactions were swift. China accused the U.S. of endangering global security and warned that the system could accelerate a space arms race. Russian President Vladimir Putin and Chinese President Xi Jinping both denounced the project stating it risks turning space into a full-fledged war zone. Their concern is shared by many who fear that the militarization of space could shatter existing treaties and disturb global balance. This leads us to a fundamental question. Will space remain a shared domain for all humanity or become the next great battlefield for global superpowers? The US, China, Russia, and even the European Union have already invested heavily in